guys, this is Kathy with Kincaid Special Creations. I have these little bottles. I'm not even sure where I picked them up at. It was in my stash. I'm going to paint them with yellow and black and put S&P on them for a salt and pepper shaker. Um, they don't have the holes in the top, but we can figure that out later. But I've already put the Mod Podge on, so I'm going to paint the, the one I'm going to paint yellow white so that the yellow paint will show up stronger. The black should be all right to just go ahead and paint it black. Let's get started, as the lady says on TV. Mod Podge just helps the paint to stick better onto your uh, glassware. You can put it, you can put gesso. I'm not even sure what else gesso is good for, so I don't currently have any of that in my stash. But if you know what it's good for, if it'd be better than just putting Mod Podge on, let me know. Because I do a lot of glassware. I do a lot of wine bottles. I'm not going to do the part that has the uh, rings on it. Because I plan on putting those lids back on. Alright. So there is what will end up being the yellow one. The coat that I put on there is White Waverly Chalk Paint. It's a good brand. I really enjoy it. It's getting harder and harder to find it. But when you do, pick it up because it's really good. This is the other one that I'm also going to be using Waverly in the color ink. I like it where they have the little labels on the top where it already tells you what it is. Yeah, see the black covers really good. The uh, yellow would have been really translucent when you put it on. You just about have to put a layer of white. Or you can put a layer of black underneath your stuff. A lot of people that like to distress stuff will paint it first with black and then Use sandpaper on the edges to make it distressed. I've not quite mastered the distressed stuff. Every time I do it, that's what it looks like. And that's what makes me is distressed. <laughs> but I know a lot of people that like it. So I will keep working until it, it uh, manages to fall into place for me. I think this is going to be a cool idea. You could use this, this idea for any color. If you had salt and pepper shakers, you could uh, paint them for... Christmas or patriotic events, Easter, pale colors. I just was down in my storage area and happened to run across these and said, oh, that would be a cool idea. Hello, guys. I'm back. I decided that I'm going to go ahead and paint the P afterwards because um, I'm using the maize color, the Waverly uh, chalk paint in maize, and it's not going to be the same color if I don't. So... Let's just put a different color over top of it. That'll tone, either tone down or warm up that. I'm not sure. That's what they always talk about. Warm colors, cool colors. I need a little bit of education on what is the warm colors and what is the cool colors. Hey guys, I'm back. Our salt shakers are painted and dried. Look at the nice crackling that come in on that white one. Now I'm going to be busy and paint this white one a nice coat of yellow. Alright, we're going to let this one dry. Put another coat on it. Alright, we are going to paint the lids of the salt shakers. Alright guys, it's time to finish our little salt and pepper shakers. We have them ready to go. We've got our letters ready to go. We're going to try to put a, a B on the top of it. This is a B stamp we bought at Michael's the other day. I'm going to use the back of my sandpaper here to try out to see what it does. Well, looks like it's going to work good. Let me try it on this green piece of paper just to make sure. It's awfully light, but let's see if it makes it dark enough. Well, it's there. But that yellow ink is just not dark enough. Let's try this. Just the top of it. 
Try to make sure you get all the little nooks and crannies. All right, let's try that. There we oh, go. Yeah, I like that. That's better. Don't use the ink. If you're going on black, use paint because the ink just didn't show up. There we go. All right, there we go. Very nice. Pull the P off of the letters that we did before and we will put it on the side that doesn't have the B on it. There we go. There you go. See? That turned out nice. All those turned out, look how pretty those turned out on the lids. Guys, look. You can do a lot of things if you just give it a try. This black is something else. Just do it real easy. Oh, mm -hmm. very nice. Oh, look guys, look. You know, the more you do crafting, the more crafty you become. Because would I have thought of that before? No. So just keep trying. Just keep crafting. <laughs> I'm excited. Okay. And now we'll put the S on this one that we painted black. There we go. And there you go. Look. Look. Awesome. That is too cute. Put the lids on now. If you could see, I am smiling from ear to ear. Last minute projects are always the best. <laughs> Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.